Hi guys, my name is Megan. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a bulletproof peppermint mocha. This is my favorite peppermint mocha recipe ever. I love this so much. If you guys have watched my channel very long, you probably know by now that I am addicted to coffee. <laughs> Not really, but I love coffee, especially in the winter time around Christmas and the winter seasons. Pepper mochas are just kind of my go-to thing. They feel so wintry and cozy, and I just love sitting by a fireplace and sipping on one of these amazing peppermint mochas. And it is just packed full of things that are gonna keep you going for the whole day, because not only does the coffee bring up your energy levels, obviously, but the butter that's in this and the coconut oil are just super healthy fats that help fuel your energy levels and they're just really, really healthy for you. I know that butter is kind of a controversial thing about whether or not you should eat it a lot, but I'm all for eating butter. I think that healthy fats are amazing for your body. As long as you're using high quality butter, preferably grass fed, and I always try to make sure that it's grown without the RBST hormone, then I think butter is amazing for you. And this is just packed full of brain boosting fats and great things. So let's get right into this recipe. So for supplies, all you're gonna need is a blender. And if you don't have a blender like this, you can use an immersion blender and blend it right in the mug that you're gonna be drinking it out of. And then you just need some, something to brew the coffee in. I'm gonna brew mine in my French press because French press is one of my favorite ways to have coffee. I'm actually just boiling the water on the stove right now to make this. I have coconut oil, some good grass-fed butter, cacao powder. This is raw organic cacao powder, and you can use cocoa powder. It'll taste just as good, but raw cacao powder is actually really good for you. It has some really cool health benefits, and they taste pretty much the same, so I love substituting that for cocoa powder wherever I can because the healthier I can make my coffee drinks, the less guilty I feel about drinking like 10 cups a day. Not really, I don't drink that many. And then I use maple syrup to sweeten it. You can also use honey. I just really love the maple syrup flavor that it brings to the coffee. I'm not a huge fan of honey in my coffee for some reason, but I really love maple-y flavors in my coffee. And then lastly, you'll need some peppermint essential oil. And because we're gonna be consuming this internally, you want to make sure you get a really high quality essential oil. I really love the doTERRA brand. I totally trust them. Young Living is a really good one, but especially for things where you're going to be taking the essential oil internally, you want to invest in a really high quality essential oil that you feel comfortable eating. So I have my hot water poured into my French press now, and it's actually making this, I'm making this for two people. I'm making a little bit for my husband too, but I will link the blog post that has this recipe and that has all the measurements if you're just trying to make one cup. This recipe is just really easy to play around with. It doesn't have to be too specific. So for making it for two people, I'm gonna pour two cups of strongly brewed coffee into my blender. And then I'm gonna take two tablespoons of coconut oil, two tablespoons of my grass-fed butter, two teaspoons of my raw cacao powder, and two drops of peppermint essential oil. And so you can see how that's just really easy to divide into just if you want to have it one for one person you just do one of each of those things and if you're doing it for two people you do two so it makes it nice and easy and then i'm just going to add my maple syrup to taste then once you have all your ingredients in the blender you're going to just turn it on high for at least 10 to 15 seconds longer is better because it's going to just make it really creamy and frothy and really just pull all the, the oils together if you don't blend it enough all the, all the oils will sit on top and it'll be kind of weird to drink so you want to make sure that it's really blended well and then I'm just going to pour it in our favorite coffee mugs and we're all done. One thing I want to mention is that if you're a breastfeeding mom, you want to be careful of the peppermint because peppermint has been shown to decrease milk supply. And so if you're breastfeeding, you probably want to be aware of that. Typically, if I'm breastfeeding, I do avoid adding the peppermint for the most part. Having a couple sips of my husband's cup of coffee doesn't seem to affect it, but I just wanted to throw that in there in case anyone didn't know that. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this recipe and it's just really easy, really delicious, and it's actually really healthy. So I'm super excited to go enjoy my cup of coffee now and I hope you guys enjoy this recipe as much as I did. I will link the blog post with the instructions and recipe and everything down below in the description. Thank you for watching. I hope you're having a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.